how to add sustain pedal to MIDI. This happens to me a lot of the times when I'm actually playing piano and uh, I put it into my track and the sustain has just gone and now the track sounds terrible or you don't know how to play the piano and you're just using MIDI notes in. How do you add sustain notes to give your track um, yeah, more of a feeling? let's say, or to make it sound better in some cases. So let's dive into it right now on how to do it with Logic Pro X. I'm going to start with a software instrument and I'm going to load up the Steinway, oops, sorry, so, yeah, software instrument. I just added two there. I'm going to load up the Steinway Grand Piano and I'm going to shut down the library just to add some space. So let's arm this track and record some piano. The first thing I want to show you, if I zoom in here, um, are the sustain, actual sustain shadows here, I like to call them, I guess. These little bars here. There's one here, there's two here, two here, and one here, and then one at the end. That's the sustain pedal. That's when I click the pedal down, and from there on, the notes will be sustained. So let's double click on this track and show you what I mean in detail. Here is the piano roll, and I'm going to click on this little connector here, and I'm gonna go down here to where it says note velocity. I'm going to go to sustain. And here is where, if you're familiar with automation at all, it's the similar kind of um, um, way to do it in terms of the interface. Basically, when it's at zero, there's no sustain. When it's at 127, there is sustain. So. All the notes that are fall within um, this kind of square here, from this dot to this dot, are all sustained. As soon as it drops down, that, that will cut the sustain. If I was to take away um, the sustain here, for example, it will start to sound all very muddy. So None of the sustain is cutting. This sometimes can happen when you are cutting piano. So for example, if we cut this track here and we kind of go and paste this into a new track, we've lost the sustain if we go and delete that because sometimes you can't see it. And so now this note, these notes aren't being sustained. So if we blend this track to another track somewhere, we're gonna, those notes are just gonna ring out as they are and not be sustained. You need to fix the sustain. You go down here, press this net like thingy here and then go to sustain and that's going to give you the sustain notes and here we can add the sustain manually by dropping down where we want the sustain to happen let's do the same thing now which is adding mini notes and uh, not using our sustain pedal so let's draw a region in we'll go to our pencil tool or I can be clicking T and then P to get pencil, and I'm gonna to click to draw a region, and then TT to get back to our pointer tool. So let's just say um, I have these two notes here. One, two. I can go to this thingy here, press sustain. I just click into this gray thing, and it's gonna open up this line for me, and I can drag it to anywhere I want. Let's say I want the sustain to happen all the way to the second bar and then I would drop it down to cut it cut it off and I want to bring up the sustain again to have this bar to uh, sustain to, to bar three so that's what this would sound like now so it cuts off a little too early so I'm gonna have that just go right to the bar two, and maybe even overlap just a touch Now I want to show you uh, another way we can add sustain by using our sustain pedal we have on our keyboard, but actually not um, playing the piano, only using the sustain pedal. So what I mean by that is we'll use this track we just, these two notes we just drew here. I'm going to remove the sustain we have by clicking on the dots and just deleting them. I could have also highlighted them all. We can just record over this track 
but not play any notes, but play the sustain pedal. So like when we're recording, just press it down where you want the sustain to happen and then take it off when you want the sustain to stop. So you'll see it happen um, when I record in now with the sustain pedal. So I'm just gonna get over here, my foot on the sustain, squeaky chair, and uh, record in. Cool, so there's the sustain. And that's sometimes a lot of a quicker way to tr to actually do it if you don't want to draw all this stuff. Let me know in a comment of other Logic tutorials you want. I answer all the comments and I'm looking for more t tutorials to teach you guys with Logic Pro X from beginner, intermediate, to starting a song from scratch or music production. Um, you can take a listen to some of my own songs to see what that sounds like, but please feel free to stick around and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.